What are you seeing in terms of media traffic at the moment? What are your numbers telling you about how fearful they are of Twitter or how much it's useful for them at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right now I feel like we're living a movie about social media and except this time it's a different platform. In the last 30 days, we've seen a 75% decline in Twitter traffic. 75. 75% of which 80% of that decline happened since October 27th, which wow. is when Elon took ownership over Twitter. And just talk through that traffic drop. What is that meaning? That is meaning that you know, the c companies that you're talking to just don't want to be anywhere near affiliated. They're, they're not posting on it. They're not putting out their products on it. Or it's more people aren't interacting with them because they're so distracted by other things that are on the platform right now. Yeah, so at Micmac, we get trafficked through national digital media across all major social platforms. And so what, when we see a decline in traffic, it means that ad spend is being paused. The thing about advertising is that it's very easy to turn on and off. Mm -hmm. And so while things are so volatile right now, it's better for advertisers to take a back seat than expose their brand reputation. I was just speaking with the Amex CEO, Steve Square, yesterday, and he was talking about how where they put their money to work on a marketing perspective has to reflect their values. And this is what a lot of companies are doing, why General Mills are pulling back on Twitter and why we've heard GM do the same. Some thought about competition there too but I'm interested as this is also an environment a, a recessionary environment a slowing down economically environment where people might be pressing pause everywhere is that the case or is this really idiosyncratic it's actually not the case mm. right now it's November and December Q4 this is when 60% of media spend normally happens okay so we're seeing spend happen on meta on snap on Pinterest on TikTok, on Google people are spending but spend is now being reallocated outside of Twitter into these other channels. And where's benefiting the most? I have a feeling I can guess. You could probably guess, but in the last seven days, we've seen a 20% increase in TikTok traffic. Oh, wow. And is that, I mean, today, just me, I was on TikTok and suddenly I found myself basically perusing some athleisure brand because it's Singles Day. And then just, I didn't even realize I was doing it native within that overall app until I'd clicked out of it and didn't actually buy what I was going to buy. But I'm interested as to, is it because we're in that particular months and, or is it actually a, a different reason? No, TikTok is inherently personalized. Yeah. It probably scares you how well the app knows you. And so when you open TikTok right there and then, they have a high consideration knowing what you want to buy. Mm. We actually see amazing conversion on that platform. And unlike other social platforms, you can get huge bang for your buck organically or being influencers. Most of the other social platforms, you have to pay to play. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have been sort of wringing their hands about the noise that has been built into the system. Many lay blame, a lot of CEOs would like to lay blame at Apple's feet as to how perhaps some of the direct targeting has become less direct, less efficient in that respect, and probably harder for some of your clients. I'm interested in general, like are you seeing at this moment what are your clients wanting to do? Are they wanting to have more effective, efficient use of social media? Are they backing away entirely? What, what are they saying to you? Yeah, I mean, changes in iOS 14 have really undone brand media as we know it. Mm. Platforms like Meta used to be an amazing conversion channel. Mm -hmm. But ever since the changes that Apple made, all of a sudden you're seeing spend shift out of national brand channels into environments like retail media. If you look at Amazon's most recent earnings, yes. Advertising grew 25% quarter over quarter. There's really strong ROI within those environments, as well as brand safety. You don't have to worry about issues like you're experiencing in Twitter in an environment like Amazon. Okay, and I love you. That, I love that you bring us back to the brand safety element. Is there anything in the here and the now that will change that 80% drop, do you think, for Twitter traffic? Yeah, this is not the first time a moment like this happened. In 2017, brands paused on YouTube mm -hmm. because of hate speech. In summer of 2020, brands paused on Facebook because of hate speech. Both of those platforms inevitably regained the trust of advertisers, but what it took was the corporate executive team going from conference room to conference room and showing that they can stabilize their platform and deliver on their words. Mm -hmm. So I don't think this has to be a forever thing for Twitter, but what the industry needs to see is stability and they need to see action, not words.